I'm not even kidding. One time I bought a bottle of wine and I was planning on ordering pizza anyway. <laughs> but I was like, oh, maybe I should cook. Maybe I should warm something up. Oh, you know. And so I bought a bottle of wine that I usually didn't buy and I couldn't open it and I was by myself. And I tried my neighbor and he wasn't home and I was like, <sighs> so I ordered pizza and then the delivery guy got there. <laughs> And I was like, um, while you're here, could I ask you to do me a favor? <laughs> he was like, yeah, sure, what's up? <laughs> and I got my bottle of wine out. I was like, could you open this, please? And he did. It's pretty fun, nice. I go over to my mom and dad's house, usually once a week at least. And my mom will send me home for with leftovers. That's what moms are for. Take the leftovers. Take them. I bring her my containers so that I make sure that I have a container to take leftovers home. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a really great day. Um, so today is a very minimal, no makeup, just, you know, sitting at home and I'm going to make some supper. Um, Part of having short arms is that I get asked a lot of questions and people are curious and they feel like, hey, well, I can ask her that because why wouldn't I? <laughs> so I do get asked a lot how I cook. Um, cooking involves heat and my face is close and my arms are short. So you have to be careful and I am a very minimal cooker. So three ingredients is like good. Like I don't need any more than that. Um, sometimes I branch out and maybe use four or five ingredients, but for the most part, three ing ingredients, that's it. I have short arms and I live in an able-bodied world. And that's just the, that's, that's the nature of it. Like, that's just, it's like saying the sky is blue. So I really have to tailor everything that I do, and that's fine. I get along just fine. But, um, I buy certain things because it's accessible. I do certain things because it's accessible. So I thought if there's anybody out there there's probably not very many short arm people because I only know like three in the whole world so far. There are variations to my short arms, but not just like me. <laughs> um, but if you have any limitations, I know that people who have suffered from a stroke or need to be just accessible, maybe you'll get some use out of this. So today we're gonna make chicken and rice and peas. I hope you're excited. I am too, so let's get started. So just to show you what I'm working with, I buy the cut up chicken. Yes, it's more expensive, but it would literally take me like half an hour just to cut up one chicken breast. For rice, I got this container at one point when I bought this size. Um, so if you do buy this size, it's super accessible and really easy to hold and store your rice. But then once I used it up, then I bought a bigger bag because I'm an adult and it was cheaper. <laughs> but I just refill this container and it's super easy. It's got a nice handle so I can hold it. Very safe, very accessible. And I buy this small vegetable bag. I have short arms, it's easier. Oh, just a tip from my house to yours. I bought this Pampered Chef pot when I was like 18, 17, 17 when I moved out, I think. These are amazing. Some people are against microwave use. I am not, because I'm not going to boil a pot when I could just fill this with water and put it in the microwave, and then it's safer. So if you have one of these, they do come in multiple sizes. I cook all of my frozen vegetables in this guy right here. And then the other thing that I can't live without in my kitchen and in my life in general is my reacher. So if you have any sort of disability, any sort of limitation, any sort of mobility, anything at all, this is like literally the, the handiest thing. But this thing is like, I don't know, like three feet long. Like it's, it's long. So. It's very handy. Okay, so I am going to use my rice cooker. Everybody on the planet needs one. If you don't have one, what are you waiting for? So I'm going to take my rice. Whoa, whoa. So I just leave the little cup that goes with the rice cooker. I leave it in the jar. And 
and then it goes right back in there. And then I just use a cup instead of pouring it over the sink, uh, just to pour it in to the pot like that. And then I put the lid on. So again, safety first, short arms. Make sure the hole is facing away because it'll make steam and it'll blow on you and it'll hurt. Okay, so when you're buying pots and pans, make sure they are accessible to you. So I have one that has an open handle where I can leave, put my little hand in there and I can lift it up very easily. So when you're trying to make your kitchen accessible, make sure you have a handle that, like look, it's very easy, it's grippy and I'm not gonna burn myself. So I'm just gonna use the knife and cut the package open. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the pan. Okay, so I've washed my hands again. And now we're going to turn on the element. So I'm going to use my reacher and I'm going to turn it on to medium heat. All right, I'm going to let that cook for a bit. Again, always make sure that your steam hole is pointing away from you. So while that is cooking, I'm going to get the peas ready. So you just fill it with water until the peas are covered and then put the lid on and then put it in the microwave. I'm going to have to give the meat a stir. This is my favorite barbecue sauce ever. This is the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. The top is also really nice because it's not going to dump out on you, so it's super easy for me. Alright, so I'm going to take my reacher again. And turn the element off. It's hot, people. It's hot. I'm just gonna fluff up the rice. All right, we're ready to serve. Dinner is ready. The Jets game is almost started, so I'm gonna go watch it and enjoy my dinner. So this is cooking in my kitchen. Um, it might look a little different in yours, but for me, keeping everything accessible and easy for me, feeling comfortable doing it alone is super important. But at the end of the day, when you have a disability, you really have to know your expectations and really know what you can and cannot do. So if you have a spoon that you really like, and that it's long enough and it's accessible and it's light and it's easy for you, then great, use that one. So for example, this spoon has rice on it, but you get the picture. I have two of them and then I have a slotted version as well. I don't know what brand this is, but it's from the dollar store. So if you go to Dollarama, they're super heavy duty plastic spoons that are really easy to use. They're light, they have a really long handle, so they're gonna help me out. And also, if you're wanting to try something out, just invite a friend over. Ask them like, hey, 
I clearly have this limitation. I would like to try this out. Could you come over and help me out? People are nice. Just ask them. Say please and they'll come over and help you. And you know, sometimes for people like me with disabilities, sometimes we're afraid to reach out. Sometimes we're afraid to ask for help because we I'm not asking for sympathy here. I don't want it. I don't need it. <laughs> but sometimes we just feel so disabled that we're just scared to ask. And so I hope that this video helps you to feel a little bit more independent and a little bit more, oh, I could totally do this. As long as you're safe and you're understanding your boundaries and what you can and cannot do. And the reason why I make these videos is not for you to make, like feel sorry for me. <laughs> just FYI. There are people out there on the internet that th might think that, but maybe. I hope not. But. If, the, if that's the case, then I'm not asking you to feel sorry for me. What I'm trying to do is that I'm 32. I moved out when I was 17. I went to university. I took three months to learn how to do up the button on my jeans. I attended university. I lived in res. I graduated. I moved out on my own. I drive. I cook. I clean. And it's hard with short arms. And you got to figure it out. And it takes some time, but you'll get there. Trust me. Not right away, because some things took me three months to learn. That's 90 days. It's almost a season. Yeah. Anyway, so. Oh, and one more tip. Look at these cute little bottles of wine. Aren't they adorable? Um, so this is the Barefoot Moscato wine. It's my favorite. It's the best. Um, I got these little bottles in the States. Where are you, Canada? I hear, I hear that they come in cans now, so I'm on the hunt for those. But, again, if you're cooking by yourself and you want to have a glass of wine by yourself, if you have a disability, make sure you can open the top by yourself. Just a pointer. Alright, so that is cooking in my kitchen from my house to yours. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you have a lovely dinner. If you'd like to see more Cooking with Short Arms videos, Leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and please share it if you can, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.